In this video, we're going to provision the Amazon's Simple Q service with the SQS Ansible Playbook Bundle implementation. The SQS APB uses Amazon's CloudFormation templates to create the SQS queues. The SQS APB has two plans available for provisioning, the SQS Standard queues and the SQS FIFO queues. During the demo, we'll configure and provision both plans and launch a very simple Python app to bind and to test out our provision queues. So we're going to get started by launching the SQS QAPB. As you can see, you see two plans. We're going to start with the standard first. And you see the parameters for the standard queues. I'm just going to scroll by and show you some of the parameters. As you can see, one of the parameters is the access key and the secret key. We'll do that off screen. And when all the parameters have been entered, we can continue. We will not bind at this time, but we will later. And if you view after launching it, we'll see the APB being provisioned. Go to the logs, and we'll see that it has successfully completed the CloudFormation template in Ansible. And we'll just have to wait a little bit until that finishes being created in the AWS. So. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to launch a simple Python app so that we can bind to it and test it out. Uh, we're going to choose Python and we're going to use the source to image for Python here. And we're going to enter in the name for our test and the Git repo. And we'll just leave the rest of the options as is and we'll create it. And if we go back to our project, we see that our Python app is building and it has launched. But when we click on the, the URL, you notice that our app has not been, uh, it, it's showing that it has not been binded yet. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a binding. And we'll bind. And there you go. And now that we have binded, we have to redeploy the pod. And after we redeploy, we can click on the URL once more. And you will see that we're able to use the application. So here we have a send message screen, which we'll just type some sample message and we'll send and we have another um, page to read it and if we click on read sure enough we see this text that we sent read we'll do a couple more of these just to test out again this is a very simple test but it shows that we're able to launch a python app and bind to the credentials Now we're going to go ahead and launch a SQS FIFO queue. So we'll do the FIFO selection. And we'll have a couple of more parameters. Um, one of them is queue name, so we'll type that in. And the other values we're going to do off screen. And of course, we're not going to bind at this time. And if you view the project, just like last time, we'll see the Ansible playbook running. And there it is, it finished. So we'll go back, and like the other one, we will create a source image Python app, a new one. It's the same Git repository, but we'll name it different. And we'll launch that. And if we go back, just like before, our app will launch. And if we click on the URL, you see the page where saying that it hasn't been binded yet. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a binding for it. 
and after we create the binding now because we launched the other one we just have to make sure that the IDs are the same which is what I'm doing here so we'll create the binding to the correct SQS APB and we'll bind to it and we'll relaunch the pod just like we did with the other one and this is going to look almost identical but we'll click it and there you see the screen we'll visit the send we'll send some messages this time we'll send a couple in a row we'll number it so that we know which sequence they went in and we'll go ahead and read it off and as we click on the read button we will read them back in order.